Hello and welcome to the vlog. Um, so it is, I don't always forget the day when I start to say the day, Wednesday, because we have church, that's the only reason I know. Wednesday, um, June 26th, 3.14, we're already home because we've been coming home around 3 on Wednesdays, as long as there's nothing else to do. So, um, yeah, we are home right now, just outside, hanging out, the cat's out here, you don't know what cat I'm talking about, it was in the last vlog. Um, we're just hanging out and going to kind of kick off a vlog here, so, um, yeah, anyways, we're just hanging out outside, it's actually really nice, it was like super hot for a few days, it wasn't too bad, but, um, I don't want anything right now, uh, uh, but it's a really nice day today, really nice breeze, um, we got a coffee, uh, we had, actually, the manager of the coffee shop here, um, his, like, his family owns a coffee shop, he, uh, volunteers on our team with uh, cameras and stuff so he actually brought us a coffee today because he came to meet with us about some of the camera stuff and he brought us well he brought me a coffee and Manny a Italian cream soda so kind of dealing with this sinus infection or cold or whatever it is um it's kind of getting to the point of really just being annoying it's I feel okay but I'm just like annoyed by the congestion so yeah that's pretty much where we're at right now Just outside. Um, what do we have to talk about, Manny? What should we talk about? Yeah. So we did. Um, we have, you know, staff meetings on Monday. So on Monday, we talked about. Um, if I hold my camera on one side, it makes a weird noise. I've noticed that, so I'm trying. I think it's because I'm covering the mic a little bit. Um, but anyways, so we have. Um, Monday staff meeting and we talked about planning another night of worship and so we decided to do it um, in July at the coffee shop here and kind of like acoustic style like relaxed um, worship and I'm really excited so we officially got it on the calendar today and uh, obviously we talked to the owners and everything um, to make sure that we can do that um, so it's going to be so oh. Up. It's going to be so much fun. And it's something that I really wanted to do for a long time. Not even just at this church, but this style of night of worship is something that I wanted to do for a while. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited about doing it and getting it planned. It's something different and unique. And I think anytime you do something outside of the church, um, it can almost be more effective. Uh, not that things in churches are not effective, but I think that you're going to limit yourself if you only do things in the church, like the physical church building. Um, so I think it's always helpful if you do things other places and if you've seen my vlogs where I've shown the coffee shop it is like the perfect environment for that it's like the perfect perfect atmosphere um it's laid back it feels relaxed it doesn't feel like a lot of pressure on people who maybe uh don't go to a church every week you know and so it just feels you know like a relaxed laid back type of feel and that's exactly what we wanted so I'm really looking forward to it it's gonna be really good I can't I tried it yesterday it doesn't work hang on don't lose my clip. Still record them. Yeah. I wanted to show you. I don't know what this is, but it's like I think it's broken blood vessels on my foot, and it looks like a really bad bruise. I don't know what that's about. Over here, I have like the remains of that ant attack that I had. That's literally like scarred me. So that was nice. But um, also these shoes are from Target. I love these kinds of shoes. Got them from Dirt Cheap for a lot cheaper though. I didn't get these from Dirt Cheap, but I got a different pair. Um, and, yeah, anyway, that looks like really... It doesn't hurt or anything, but I think it's like broken blood vessels. My nails are uh, Kiss nails. I love them. You know how I feel about the Kiss press-on nails. They're just so fun and so simple and my favorite. Okay, so I decided to do some makeup real quick. By the way, Manny temporarily fixed my screen so I can see myself. It was working earlier, but it like come it, the screen and the cameras I'm talking about if you don't know. But it was working earlier, but now it just kind of like comes and goes. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. He said that he can fix it like fully, like permanently, but it's just like a big process and he didn't want to do that right now. 
So like right now it works, but next time I turn it on, it probably won't. I'm contouring. Obviously I'm gonna blend that, but I'm using the Anastasia uh, Shadow Stick Foundation, the contour stick. <clears throat> it's a stick foundation, but it says contour on it. I use this one for contouring. I love it. Um, I'm using this brush from Sonia Kashuk for contouring as well. Um, for blending out the contour, and I love this brush. I've been contouring everywhere, like around the lips, everywhere. I watched, um, I cannot think of what his name is, but Jennifer Lopez, um, J-Lo, her, uh, makeup artist. And he contours under foundation. And so I've been trying that out, and I really love it. I have some foundation on today, but it had started to wear off. But I love um, the idea of contouring under foundation. Uh, my favorite foundation to wear is my airbrush foundation, like with my airbrush machine. Um, but anyways, I just feel like, you know, you can still see the... I haven't done it with the airbrush makeup yet, but I know that would work as well. But um, I just feel like you can still see the contour, but it like makes it look perfectly blended. And I really love um, doing it that way. So he's such... A good makeup artist. I was watching his videos with uh, Tati. Tati. It sounds like I'm saying Tati. Um, and I love uh, him. I know his name. I've been like stalking him lately. <laughs> Looking at his different like makeup looks and stuff. He really does good. And he said that like for the JLo glow that she has, he uses spray sunscreen. So thought that was pretty interesting. I think it was like Neutrogena or something like that. But anyways, putting some more makeup on, I did my eye makeup. If you can see, I did like a blue and orange. I don't know if you can see that. And I used magnetic lashes. I like these a lot. Um, but I will say that anybody that says, which I know I'm going to, I'm still going to put foundation over this. But anybody that says that um, they're easier than glue lashes, I don't agree with that. I think they're more complicated, like significantly more complicated. But I do like them. I do wear them. My favorite are still glue on lashes, but I do really like the magnetic ones as well. And then another product that I've been liking, um, let me show you. I really like this. Oh, my screen is like going out again. My flip screen. What in the world? It's like turning black and white. Maybe I won't be able to look at myself anymore. I don't know. Um, but I love, if you guys could only see this. I love this Ulta Illuminating Powder. It stopped now. The Ulta Illuminating Powder, um, just like for all over the face. This is a yellow diamond illuminator. I think they have other shades as well, but I heard about this one. It's like the perfect glow for all over the face. It's not like a high, like, I mean, you can use it like a regular highlight, um, and I'm sure people do, but I like it um, on my skin tone and everything, just literally all over the face because it makes the face look glowy and without looking like, you know, glittery. It's just really nice which I like me some glitter too, but it's really, really nice. So I've been loving that. Good morning. Um, so it is Friday morning, almost 11 o'clock. I'm gonna make some coffee for the road because we're going to uh, Texarkana to go to Dirt Cheap today. We haven't been there in a while. You guys know we're going like every weekend. Um, we actually haven't been there in a few weeks. So <clears throat> we're gonna go there. I slept in today. I've been awake for like an hour. Um, so I didn't have a lot of time to get ready because we wanted to go ahead and get going. So I just got ready quickly. I'm wearing this, um, it's like a flat bill hat. It has like flowers on it. I really like this. I got it from Dirt Cheap. I've never had a hat like this. I didn't know how it would look on me, but I actually really like it. Um, especially with my outfits today. I'm just wearing like a white shirt, ripped jeans, and, um, like high top kind of shoes from Target. Um. So I thought it went with the outfit today and I really like it. I love the floral part of it. So anyway, I'm going to put some lipstick on as well. I've been wearing this lipstick a lot. It's from NYX. It's um, in the shade Spirit. I really like it. It's one of those you don't really even need like a mirror for like I just looked in the microwave to do it but it's just like a natural color sometimes I will line my lips and then put it on and then obviously I have to look but I'm gonna make some coffee <clears throat>
Okay, so we are in the car headed to dirt cheap. Um, I put my glasses on. I said before, but I don't have any contacts. I need to order some, but um, I always do that. I always run out and then wear glasses nonstop for a little while. And I like, I, I really enjoy wearing glasses. I like the way glasses look with stuff and all of that. But in the summer, it gets harder to wear glasses because like right now they're fogging up. When it's hot or humid or anything, they fog up really bad. They make my face feel sweaty. In the summertime, I just don't love wearing them as often, especially if I'm gonna be outside um, doing anything. So yeah, that's kind of the issue with it right now, but I'll take them off. I mean, I can see, it's not like I literally can't see, but I just can't see well. I can't drive without them or anything like that. Um, can't see far, very far. So anyways, yeah, I am uh, headed to Dirt Cheap. Okay, so we're in Dirt Cheap. Looking at some things. Did you put this in here, Manny? This body wash? Like the one that I have in there. Um, anyway, so we're in here. Look. And um, I got this like perfume. It's like a body spray perfume thing from Adidas like, Women. It smells amazing. I think it's like $5. And I got some shorts too, so we'll show you what we got after we get out of here. But I love this place. Looking at wiper blades now. They have everything. Alright, so we got Chick fil A. I did, Manny didn't really get any, we shared it. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite place to go to eat, like fast food like that. I love Chick-fil-A, we were just saying how Chick-fil-A employees, which I mean everybody says this, so it's nothing new, but Chick-fil-A employees are literally always the nicest and I think that makes it a lot more pleasurable to go there. Um, I mean, the food is amazing, but I feel like if, honestly, the customer service and the way that they are wasn't like it is, I feel like it wouldn't be as popular. Even though people might not realize that, it's just a pleasant place to go. You don't feel like you're hated because you're ordering food. I can't stand that when it feels like you're, like, they hate that you're there. Like, they, like they don't want you to be there. So, Chick-fil-A does an amazing job with that. Um... Like one time we were in New Mexico, Chick Fil A never really messes up orders either. They like are very rare to. I mean, obviously every place messes up occasionally, but they are like the best with that. Um, but they did mess up an order one time in New Mexico. It was a new location and everything, so that probably was a lot to do with it. But they messed it up, not even horribly. I think they forgot fries or something like that. And that's like my favorite part. <laughs> so. Um, Anyway, we like messaged like the owner of that location and um Huh? That's right, that's what it was. We filled out the survey that they give you and just said like that they had forgotten something. And um we filled it out positively before too. I mean like I said, mostly all experiences have been positive there, but we did say that they forgot it. And um Anyway, the owner of that location ended up emailing us, like literally personally emailing us, telling us, um, hang on, Krista's calling me. Hello? Hey, what do you want to do? Driving back to Texarkana? Okay, so we're still in Texarkana. We were going to stop back somewhere and like... Nope, we're on our way back. We went to Chick-fil-A and now we're almost to Walmart. Oh, so always so. going to have an interesting experience at Walmart. What Walmart? Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, back to Chick-fil-A. Um... So the owner like personally messaged us and was like, I'm so sorry that that happened. And what was the first thing that he did? He sent us like a free meal, right? He said that we could get a free meal and it was literally like, it was just basically he said show this to them and it wasn't like limited. Like it wasn't like you could get like a free chicken sandwich or like one person could get a meal. It was literally whatever you wanted, you could have it. <laughs> he literally wasn't it. You would just go up and we thought it was going to be like, oh yeah, he's only paying for one meal, like, because only one was messed up, you know, you can't both get it. But we just ordered and we're like, we'll pay for whatever, this doesn't cover, but we'll just order regularly. And it literally covered everything. All we did was like show basically that he sent that email. And um, they are like, okay, and then they just gave it to us for free. So that was amazing. And then after that, he just continuously would like send us like, you know, just free like chicken sandwiches or whatever. So they're just amazing. I mean, for real. They like go above and beyond. I actually felt horrible about complaining about it after that because I saw that they genuinely like really care about that and don't want anything to be wrong and I think that 
that's they hold hold themselves at such a level of excellence for like a fast food restaurant for any restaurant actually it's better than even sit down restaurants but they just hold themselves at this level of excellence that I think is not comparable to anything else so I love Chick-fil-A <laughs> oh did you miss us <laughs> She's still here. I don't think she's gonna go anywhere. I think she's hanging around. Um, so yeah, we're home. We're home, I changed because I was wearing jeans and it's a little warm. They were ripped jeans, so like the equivalent of wearing shorts, but. I got that body spray from Dirt Cheap. We also got wiper blades from Dirt Cheap. We needed new wiper blades really badly and they have like car things there, so hopefully these are good. I'll show you the shorts that I got today. I, I have another pair of um, my 90s jeans, I call them, the, I'm gonna cut off into shorts, but I'm gonna make those, like, boy shorts, like, literally, like, to look like boys kind of shorts, um, because they would, because they're, like, a looser kind of jean. I'm gonna cut them off like that, because I think that would be cute. I watch a girl that does that, um, but I'll show you really quickly if I can figure out how, yeah, probably over there, I'll show you what my shorts look like. They're from Universal Thread. They're, like, a longer, but just, like, a casual short. I didn't have any... Um, and, like, if I just go over to Krista's or if I'm just going to run to the coffee shop or just going to come out here even and I want to wear, like, shorts that, you know, I look, like, decent but, you know, are just, like, plain shorts that I can wear with any t-shirt or whatever. I need, I desperately needed something like that. Out of all the clothes that I do have, I didn't have anything like that. And I think I used to, but, um, I'm a little bit of a bigger size than I used to be. Um, so I've grown out of a lot of my old clothes. Some of them I still do fit in but some like jean type of things sometimes are a little bit tight. I'm loving like the 90s style and um, high-waisted, which these are not high-waisted, but they're also not low. Um, I really don't like low. Um, so they're like a mid type of rise. The typical universal thread rise. I think they're usually like mid. Look, she's taking my seat now. Okay, this is what the shorts look like. They're like a really good length. Um, they're from Universal Thread, which is a Target brand. Um, and I really, really like them. They're just black, which I love anything like black or gray. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. And I love them. I showed you guys that I got this. I think it was $5. And then I also got this thing from Walmart. It's like a hair tie. Um, there's a jug of water down there because I use it for my airbrush makeup. But it's like a hair tie. But it has like this thing that comes down. So I thought if I wear my hair half up, half down, or even all the way up, you know, like a low thing like I've been doing. This would be just a really cute accessory. I love hair stuff like this, bandanas, and I wanted one like this. So I'm excited about that. It was $3 from Walmart. So yeah, other than that, Manny got some shirts. This is one of them, actually. I'm walking past it right now. It's dark in here, so the lighting is probably horrible. But he got this shirt that I really like. I would totally wear this shirt. It's like a hoodie, but short sleeve. Here's the cat. She heard me come out over here. Maybe she heard Manny. Because Manny's over here doing the wiper blades. She just lays like this, like, all the time. Can you see her? Like constantly. You got it figured out. Just kind of hanging out outside. It's a warm day, but it feels really good out here. Um, yeah, this is just kind of what we're doing. I'm like breaking out a little bit. If you can see, I'm sure you can see some texture on my face. Um, my skin's not doing the best, so I don't know um, what's going on with that because it's been doing better. So yeah, I think we might grill tonight. We got some corn on the cob and stuff. And I love to grill that kind of stuff. Well, Manny grills it, but I love to eat that kind of stuff. So, oh, I forgot to tell you guys something. So, um, yesterday, so a couple days ago, I was thinking that I wanted to get a um, yellow eyeshadow palette. And I was like, I really wish that ColourPop would come out with a yellow palette, like that green one. That I have a video about that. Um, I wish it would come out with a, you know, a video or a video. <laughs> A palette that was yellow just like the green one like I wanted to be the exact same just a yellow palette instead of green and literally that same day they announced that they were coming out with a yellow palette and the next day they posted a picture or something like that um, or they posted the picture that day I think and then it actually came out the next day or something like that so anyways I was so excited and so I tweeted ColourPop or I just like tweeted in general by tag ColourPop like and said that about how I had just said that I wanted them to come out with a yellow palette and then they did and you know I'm so good or whatever like I love it it's, it looks amazing $12 for their palettes they have amazing amazing products 
And so, anyway, it, the tweet is, like, getting so many likes. I mean, not so many, but I guess for me, so many likes. I don't know why, but I've been, like, pumped about it because it keeps getting likes. Um, so, anyways, literally, like, they're not from anybody that I know. There's 87 likes and two retweets. And all I said was, yesterday I was thinking, I need a yellow palette. I wish ColourPop would come out with one. And here it is, like, emojis. And... It is like such a pretty palette. I definitely have to get it. So Manny was like cleaning our our shower. Um, I need to just kind of letting it sit. So I need to start it up because um, I'm gonna shower. But I'm gonna start it up for a minute. I was watching videos of the yellow palette from um, ColourPop and I said Starbucks. I don't know why I almost just said Starbucks. That doesn't make any sense. But I was watching videos of the yellow palette from ColourPop, the Uh Huh Honey palette. It is so beautiful. I have to get my hands on that. Like, I... It's a lot like... Let me show you. It's a lot... Not a lot like it. I mean, they're totally different colors. But it's laid out the same way. Like, intentionally, they have a bunch of palettes that are laid out this way now. I don't know if the packaging is the same. But it looks very similar. Um, to this, I kept the box for this. Because it's one of those. I really like the box. It looks the same as the packaging, but... I don't know, I just kept the box. So the packaging is like hard packaging. I really love this. I have a video about this palette on my channel, like unboxing it. And it's a green palette. It's beautiful. I got it right before St. Patrick's Day. I love that palette. I'm going to take a shower and then I am going to self tan. I'm sorry, the water in the background is loud or annoying. I'm also drinking coffee and it's like nine something, but it doesn't affect me. <laughs> just sounded really good. Um, but anyways, I am going to self-tan. I'll show you what I'm going to use. I have just this tank top on because it got really hot outside. Um, I don't self-tan that often. And I've talked before about how I used to be really insecure about how, um, fair skin I am. And, like, now I'm literally over it. I don't care. Whatever. It's always been, like, a hot topic for people that I'm really fair. It doesn't bother me. Everybody's unique. Everybody's different. And um, I think we're finally living in kind of a culture where women are, I mean, of course, there's still a lot of hate, but women are like celebrating uniqueness, I feel like, more than ever. Anyways, I am going to self-tan with that being said. Um, not because I don't like my fair skin, just because sometimes in the summer I like to be a little bit bronzy and a little bit glowy. Sometimes I don't care. So I am going to self-tan a little bit. I use, um, I love the Loving Tan, self tanner, I used to use that all the time, um, and I haven't used that in a while, I don't have any anymore, um, but I do love that one, and then this is the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express Bronzing Mousse, I love any kind of mousse, not any, but I love mousse self tanners, so I'm going to use one, I like it to be a mousse, I feel like it's a lot better to apply, I really do love this one, it looks um, natural, and I apply it with this mitt, which is nasty, but I mean, I, I used it not that long ago, and that's just kind of how those start to look. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, um, last time I used it, I literally slept with it on, mostly because this is an express tan, so you only have to leave it on one hour for a light tan, two for medium, and three for dark. I looked it up just to make sure it was okay and not going to go wild, unusable, and they said it's fine to sleep in, um, that basically your skin will get to a certain color, and it won't go any darker than that, which I've noticed with, with my skin because I never get as dark as some people can. I just don't have the skin for it. Even when I go, I'm outside a lot, like I might get tan for me eventually, like it takes a while, but I'm still very light compared to everybody else. I just don't have um, that type of skin, which is totally fine. Dark skin is beautiful, light skin is beautiful, there's nothing wrong with either one of them. But sleeping in it doesn't necessarily make it darker, but I was just kind of feeling lazy because... Um, whatever but anyway I feel like it actually did kind of make it darker for me probably because I never leave it on for three hours like it says for the maximum I would usually do like an hour or two so it was pretty dark um, obviously it fades it was dark but like I said not dark compared to everybody else but because I'm so fair any little difference looks like a big difference so it was a little bit dark um but Manny's gonna help me with this last time I didn't ask him to usually he does Last time I didn't ask him to, and I didn't do my back, and when I was like wearing my hair up, you could see like on my neck, because like I said, I'm so fair that like you can tell, you know, so I could see like on my neck there was like a white spot. Manny also got this cologne from Dirt Cheap today, it's Adidas, and uh, it's like this, actually has like a soccer thing on it, which is funny, because he plays 
soccer, but anyway, he got that from dirt cheap. It smells really good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you are incredible. Jesus loves you. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.